future of work, uh, from my strong perspective, um, is a discussion about digital transformation. And digital transformation, from my point of view, is a discussion of the fourth industrial revolution. So if I can just take a moment and talk about this for just a second so we're all aligned. The fourth industrial revolution is upon us, albeit in an early stage. This revolution observes the tremendous, nearly perfect storm of digital capabilities combining with human behavior that together are changing everything around us. Now more than ever before, technology shapes our behaviors and our behaviors shape technology. What makes this revolution so fascinating, so significant, is its size and its momentum and its reach. Together, it's really unlike anything that we've experienced before. People juice the impact of this with the prospect of billions uh, powered, often with mobile devices. And when you add to that unlimited storage and processing power and near unfettered access to knowledge, you can see the magnitude and the perfect storm, if you will, of what we're dealing with here. Technology breakthroughs in innovation multiply this effect, and we have a fourth industrial revolution, a digital transformation in essence, that will both challenge and hopefully benefit us. If nothing else, it certainly will forever change us. You can see the disruption, many companies here, I think, dealing with this in all industries. Digital lowers the barriers to entry in all areas, marketing, R&D, production, delivery, while creating new wealth and redefining value. An interesting way to observe this, as you see in this chart, is to consider the flows of goods and services and finance, and relatedly, the number of data connections in the global network of flows. In the next decade, global flows could triple powered by rising prosperity, participation in the emerging world, and by the spread of digital technology. To turn this to organizations, to be successful in the digital age, enterprises need to rethink a lot more than just their digital technology. Digital business and operating models crafted by digitally capable and literate leadership teams are just fundamental in the new model. Building the digital workforce needed now and soon is critical, and this is complicated by a lot more than the factors beyond just the shortage of digital talent. Finally, culture that drives aligned behaviors is the glue that holds these models together in the future state, and it needs to be explicit and reliable. How do we do this? How do we change organizations from their earlier models that, frankly, we built? Models based on corporate stewardship, risk avoidance, and compliance to where they need to be in the future state. Responsive organizations based on horizontal, not vertical contexts. Horizontals such as connectivity and networking rather than hierarchies empowerment of people and teams in lieu of command and control, outcomes of engagement and intrinsic motivation without the promise of structured career paths or time-earned rewards. And how can we motivate workers to aggressively pursue and embrace interesting and productive relationships with machines that today they worry might, might in part or in whole be poised to replace them in the future. It's no surprise, nor do I think most companies would deny, that digitalization in the marketplace has outpaced digitalization inside the enterprise. As a result, we're starting to see the shearing of the business model that happens when the external digital strategy is not adequately supported with ready people, practices, and digital capabilities internally. We're also realizing that changing the work environment, certainly changing culture, is a lot more complex and challenging than we might have originally thought. 
Generally speaking, higher priority needs to be placed now on building the digital organization if companies are to reach their digitalization goals broadly. Philosophically and operationally, it's important to move the digital marketplace and digital workplace in sync and in harmony. We should expect that in most companies, at least at this time, there's likely some catch-up work that needs to be done inside the organization. In doing so, we see that virtually every marketplace goal has a related internal context. Growth in the marketplace requires a growth mindset in the workplace. Customer centricity in the marketplace requires people centricity in the workplace. Innovative, competitive solutions in the marketplace require a sustainable culture of innovation in the workplace and so on. The future of work needs to start now. In doing so, we can choose, as we do at LDS, to be optimistic, bold, excited about the prospects. To borrow a relevant phrase from our like-minded colleagues at Sloan MIT, technology is not our destiny, we shape our destiny. Let's have a good time and start the dialogue. Thank you so much.